Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the channel um, and to another Van Other Collective collaboration video. Uh, this month's topic is three tips that you would give to anyone considering getting into vanning. Simple answer, done. It's expensive. <laughs> okay, uh, I know everybody goes on about layout, 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 but we'll include that in one of our other bits and pieces. Um, bit of housekeeping first. Um, all the other logos for all the other channels I'll put probably in the top one of the top corners here, and links to all of their channels will be in the description below. Make sure you go over there and give all their videos a watch for lots and lots of other tips on what to do if you're considering going out and buying a caravan, motorhome, or a, a camper van. Okay, our first one. Uh, consider what you're going to use it for, basically. Um, because that will tell you what you're going to want, whether you're going to want a caravan, whether you're going to want a motorhome, or whether you're going to want a, a camper van. Yeah, just a little one. Yeah, just a little one. Um, if you're the sort of people, unlike us, that will want to go to a certain area, park yourself on a campsite and base yourself out of there and then go and explore that local area for a week or two, caravan all day long. Mm -hmm. Or a tent. Or a tent, yeah. Yes, but if... so you can even get the... Toilet tents now. Yeah. As an yeah. add-on. Yeah, but as we as we're looking at van in caravan. No. Yeah. Definitely, definitely a caravan. If that's what you want to do, caravan. A, they're cheaper, and B, you just site yourself there. Yeah. Plus, uh, then you have a car. Yeah. Then you can get, get a, around. Yeah, you can get about, and you don't have the parking issues that you get with some of the larger motorhomes. Um, if like us, you want to go touring. Mm -hmm. um, or just short trips. Yeah, short trips, weekend trips out and you want to go off grid things like that then motorhome or camper van mm -hmm. um that would depend on how many of you are that you, you are um, how many of you there there are um and various other things but basically that's what that's the first thing you really need to do to decide what you're going to need i think mm -hmm. basically um our second tip is research and this is where the layout bit comes into it. So basically, once you've decided whether you want a caravan or a motorhome, then start your research. Get out there and look at all the different layouts, look at all the different vans, different sizes of vans, to decide what's going to work best for you. I mean, if... For, I mean, Siska mentioned this morning when we were discussing this, I mean, if... You're someone that likes to cook, mm. then you're going to want to look at the layout of the kitchen in your motorhome. Mm -hmm. You might want a little bit more counter space, a little bit more cupboard space. Yeah, yeah, certainly yeah. things like that. Mm. De definitely for things like that. Um, then you've got to think about things like mobility. I mean, I know we're no spring chickens, but we managed yeah. to get up and down out in our out of our uh, drop down yeah, bed but whether we could still do that in 20 years time i don't know yeah that's another thing you know i mean and what else should i write down here oh, this is a big one consider your payload mm -hmm. certainly consider your payload um all the manufacturers out there are working on the fact that three and a half ton is the weight limit for everybody that can drive just on an ordinary car license. So they're bringing all their vans in at that three and a half ton weight limit. And some of them, you're looking at 250 to 300 kilogram payload, which by the time, if it's a five or six berth van, by the time you've got two adults, three kids, the dog, half a tank of water, you're yes. probably over. Mm -hmm. And that's without putting your knives, forks, spoons, cutlery, bikes, and God knows what, what else in there. Mm -hmm. So... Payload is huge. I mean, we, I mean, we looked at what our van payload was, and the I think it was about five hundred and sixty odd. When we first bought it, yes. Yeah, but, but when we put on the awning, put on the air conditioning. Yeah. Um, yeah, because something else. Can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've had the um, the new inverter. Yeah, that's yeah, it. the inverter. I mean, okay, yes, we've had a lithium battery fitted, which is lighter than the original battery. Yeah. But that is more than taken up by the lump of a blooming inverter, which is about that big, by yeah. about that big, and isn't exactly light. 
Um, so you put it on the weighbridge, didn't you? Yeah, I put it on the weighbridge, and it, yeah. we had three hundred kilograms left. Yeah, and I'd emptied the van. All that was in that van was me and three quarters of a tank of diesel, yeah. and we had three hundred kilos it. left. Yeah. I mean, we've got two e-bikes that we've bought, which you'll have seen from our videos in Europe. Yeah. They're twenty-one kilos a piece. Yeah. So there's there's another fifty kilos near us. Damn it, gone. Yeah, add me. Add yeah. a tank of water. Yeah. So payload's a big thing. Um, it's if you've got to see if you passed your test before. I think it's early nineteen ninety seven. I think it's the 1st of January 1997. If you passed your test before then, don't quote me on this, but I believe it's the 1st. It's certainly 1997. Just check on your driving licence. It'll yeah. tell you what you've got. Yeah, you will have the C1 entitlement. Yeah. But you've also got to remember that DVLA in their infinite wisdom, when you hit 70, will automatically take that off unless you apply to have it kept. Yes. And then you'll have to have a medical. Yes. So, but that is something that you seriously, seriously need to look at, yeah. certainly on the payload side of things. Um, and then, like us, you want to look at the layout within the van, sort of seating areas. The reason we went for the van that we wanted is we wanted two separate seating areas. We want... Uh -huh. Well, the main seating area, our bed's above it. Yeah. So if that's down and one's in bed... The other one, yeah. If you didn't have the second, well, the little dinette... No, you haven't got nowhere to sit, have you? You, you would have nowhere to sit, but say if you had... A fixed bed, and a larger front, either dinette slash sitting area, that'd be okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. No, it wouldn't be too bad. No, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you've got to consider, ex it, it's part of the research, just go and have a look at everything, yeah. and then sit, go away, sit down, and work out what works for you, because yeah. that way you're going to get the right van, hopefully first time. Um... And the third thing that we certainly went down is budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As yeah, we all we, know. We had a budget and then just... Blew yeah. it. Yeah. Um, as we all know, motorhomes are ridiculously expensive. Um, but it doesn't stop at the, at the cost price. No, it doesn't stop at the cost of buying the van. Because, I mean... You've got all the other costs that are involved. Insurance. If you don't have a driveway, you're going to need to pay to store it somewhere. Um, if you want to go abroad or you want to use it, certainly if it's an older van, breakdown cover. Mm -hmm. Things like that. All of these are the added expenses that you've got to consider. But also if you take it abroad, it's more expensive to go on a ferry with a van than it is with a car. Yes, it is. Although it's if certainly going from the south coast, Dover, Channel Tunnel. It's not too much it's difference. It's not too much difference, really. Yeah. Um, but certainly from up where we live, I mean, I've looked at the prices for next year to take the motor home. You're looking at the best part of a £1,000 return. Yeah. We're going Dover. Uh, <laughs> we'll take extra couple of days. Yeah, we'll take an extra couple of days and head down to Dover. It's yeah. it's it's a lot. To, and I wouldn't spend the the difference in diesel getting no. down there no. at all. No. And we're saving money by being able to go off-grid as well. Yes. Yes, yes. certainly. But... If you can, give yourself a budget yeah. and stick to it. Because yeah. if you're like me, and I'll hold my hands up and be completely honest, <laughs> I like a gadget. <laughs> I really like a gadget. And yeah. if you're someone like me, motorhoming can rapidly become a <coughs> bottomless money pit. Fortunately, I have this one. <laughs> no, you're not having that. Precisely. And, and, and I mean, the big thing that I would love to have on the motor, motorhome is self-leveling. <laughs> but God. I've just I've just looked at it and <laughs> I said she said no straight away and then I thought about it I thought I can't justify six thousand <laughs> pounds just to be able to sort of park up and go we're level <laughs> no. I can't I can't justify it so have a budget and stick to it and when when you're doing that go to shows yeah because if you're looking for a new van if you go to the shows the Warner shows or the NEC they're going to do Show deals. Not just that, but you could just have a look at things. Yeah. And and say, right, this is this kind of layout I want. If you're looking for a second-hand one, then at least you know what kind of layout you want. Yeah, precisely. I mean, certainly at the Warner shows, you get the uh, the dealers will go with second-hand vans. Oh, do they? Yeah. There were um, certainly at the um, the one where we ordered our van. There were second-hand vans oh, there right. at the Harrogate show in in the, at the Warner show, the Warner Yorkshire show. I didn't know that. So. 
you will get show mm. deals where they'll lower mm. the prices or that for a new van they'll add things like an awning they'll add um sunroofs and tv and wi-fi and things like that you'll get all of those little extras thrown in so yeah it's it's a minefield but if you do your research set yourself a budget and know what you're looking for when you go out there you should yeah. do all right yeah and then a lot of people i've heard read one first we never did no we didn't but yeah that is certainly a good i have heard that advice a lot yeah I, 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 I think especially if you're on the fence, if you're, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. read we one knew, first. We knew what we wanted, so. Yeah, yeah, we knew we wanted one. We'd done a lot of research. We knew the layout we wanted. And the one that we've got came up. Yeah. up. We went we went to the show and there it was. Yeah. It was one that we'd actually looked at and said we really liked. Yeah. And there it was in the flesh, so we bought it. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, guys. Hope you found this useful. Uh, like I said at the beginning, don't forget to go to all the other channels in the collaboration and check their videos out. Um, and as I said, if you really enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. Drop some comments down below um, and let us know your hints and tips so that anyone else watching the video can read those and hopefully pick up some more hints and tips as well. Um, give us a big thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.